November. It is October 29th. We are two nights away from spooky season officially wrapping her up and Mariah Carey officially defrosting. It's <laughs> approaching upon the best time of the year and no better way to start November. Full on month reflection, month reset, full transparency. I got this idea and this isn't like a novelty video idea whatsoever, but what inspired me to sit down and film it was I watched poppy calliopes first off can we just talk about that name like imagine just being named poppy calliope like that's the dopest name ever congrats girl you hit the name jackpot i'm obsessed with her videos her october reset inspired this whole shebang if it seems like i'm copying every single aspect of it is because I am. My goals for November, we're gonna talk about the books that I read this month, the TV shows and movies I read. I'll show you my mood board that I made for November. If you like this type of video, let me know. We'll make it a series. Let's jump right into it, shall we? In a future state, I will have made goals from the prior month. However, given this is the first time I've ever made a video like this, I don't really have any goals to go off of. We're just gonna have to cut that one this month. Leads us right into making next month's goals. <sighs> I love a planning moment, I love setting goals, but I'm not gonna go too crazy because I do wanna be realistic. So I think each month I'm just gonna do five, but I think we we'll start off at five and then kind of see, see where we go from there. If you saw a uh, ultrasound, that is not mine. <laughs> that is my soon to be niece or nephew. In case you were speculating, rest assured the only thing in this stomach is indigestion. The first one is I want to finish my negotiation course completely. This semester I'm taking a, taking an asynchronous negotiation course, which means you kind of do it at your own pace. However, I have three like huge semester long assignments and I just want to finish everything in November so I can go into December not having that nagging over me. The next goal is I want to read a classic book and I don't know how I determine classic but I'm thinking like a Jane Austen, um, maybe a Jane Austen, just something that society deems a classic. I'm a huge reader but a lot of my books are more pop culture-y, mainstream, and I just want to diversify my reads. Goal three is I want to replace my bathroom exhaust fans. I bought the fans, I just have to get them installed. Uh, the ones I have are very noisy. This is going to be a little sneak peek for you, so subscribe so you, you don't miss anything. Mini vlogs every single day of November on my YouTube shorts, so I want to successfully complete that. I think November's 30 days. 30. So 30 days of mini vlogs. Finally, I want to try a new restaurant and or coffee shop. The next agenda item is we're going to talk about my mood board. In Poppy's video, she made basically a mood board. I've done this many times before and you put it as your desktop screensaver on your computer so every day you see it. I do mine on Canva. The upper left, we kind of have a studious academia vibe. November is going to be a huge month for schoolwork, final season, a lot of papers and research due. Come December, I can feel really good about the end of the semester. This represents the sunrise. I want to become more of a morning person. Being up, ideally, I'd love to be up by six each morning. Right now, I'm in the seven-ish area. So Sometimes later, sometimes earlier. Not really earlier, but you get the gist. I want to get up with the sun, align my circadian rhythm. We have a quote, what you're looking for is not out there, it is in you. I'm currently in a, a self-discovery phase of my life, like really trying to find out what my life path and life goals are. I think it just comes down to doing a lot of self-reflection, so that's just a reminder. Christmas season starts November 1, so I'll be decorating for Christmas probably next week. Top right, we have a bookstore. I love me a good independent bookstore, or even just going to the library. I love books, I love reading, so I definitely foresee that in my November future. And then bottom right, focus on my health, specifically being consistent and going to the gym. I've been trying a bunch of new, really fun workout classes on ClassPass, which I love. Next agenda topic, the books I read this month. 
think I ate something. You ever like get a lick of something and you're like, that's not food? That's concerning. Poison control. So we're pulling up the Goodreads. I'm not gonna talk about every single book I read. I'll highlight the ones that I'm like, yes, read this. Follow me on Goodreads. I'll put my Goodreads in the description. First one we had for October, Mary Jane. Nah. Pineapple Street was, I gave it four stars. I really loved it. It was a fun, easy read. You are a badass at making money. I didn't rate this, so clearly didn't like hit. But I do like this author. I think she's has is interesting. Please unsubscribe. This one, again, I didn't rate it. Uh, I just, it, it just didn't stick for me, but I liked the concept. Before We Were Innocent, this one I gave three stars. I didn't think it was anything special, but Saturday night at the Lakeside Supper Club, chef's kiss. This was unsuspecting. I knew it was a local Minnesota author, but I, I just loved it. It was so quirky and fun and I loved the characters. So I'm definitely gonna read more of his books. My Friend Anna, this is about Anna Delvey. If you've watched the Netflix show, you can forego the book. It is exactly the same, just in literary version. The Other Woman, this one was a really good thriller. Not what I was expecting, so um, highly recommend that. Death Valley, that did not hit for me. It was weird. Just a lot of symbolism. It wasn't, it wasn't for me, it wasn't for me. Great writing, but just wasn't for me. And then The Boyfriend, Frieda McFadden. I love Frieda McFadden, but this was not one of her best. End was like, oh, didn't see that coming, but a lot of her other ones, you audibly gasp, and that, it just didn't have the gasp factor. Let's see how many books. 10 books this month, so that's pretty good. And I don't set book goals. I just, reading's fun for me, and I don't wanna make it competitive. Movies and TV shows I watched. First one, of course, joined, hopped on the bandwagon. Monsters, the dramatic telling of the Menendez brothers. Really good, highly recommend. I watched Whiplash, which is a Miles Teller movie. If you've heard the TikTok audio where it's like, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna break up. Well, I don't think that we should be together. And I've thought about it a lot, and this is what's gonna happen. Probably heard it if you've spent three minutes on TikTok. Not a movie I would watch, but my boyfriend picked it out, and I'm glad I did. Nobody wants this. Oh my gosh. Every time I'm reminded of this show, I get sad that I don't have more episodes to watch. No good, I just, I loved this show. Kristen Bell, what water does she drink? Because she looks amazing. I looked her up, she's 44. 44! They are coming off of season two. I will be binging. And then finally, I think this might have been, this might have been a September watch, but Selling Sunset, I'm a diehard. I love the houses, the luxury, it's just everything to me. And then finally, this is a segment that I added and it's reflecting on my favorite things I did this month. I went up to Duluth to see the fall foliage. That was fabulous. And then my book club had a book weekend up north or out east. Cabin vibes, so wholesome. That was pretty great. Honestly, just a really solid month. A lot of family time, a lot of friend time. That is it for October's reflection reset video. If you like this type of video, let a girl know. I'm very curious what you all have on the horizon for November. Please let me know like what you're looking forward to, no to in November and one goal you have, just so I can see what folks around the world are doing. Or maybe you lived on the street for me, for all I know. That's all. I'm gonna go to bed. I will chat with you all in the next video. Peace.